and welcome to today's episode of CCTV. Hi there and welcome to CCTV, the place to be if you are trying to get more happy, healthy, and fit. I'm your girl. I'm Christina Carlisle. I'm a former fat girl turned nutritionist and a trainer here to help you reach your weight loss and wellness goals too. Think of me as the ace up your sleeve to getting happy, healthy, and fit. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get abs, specifically target and tighten and tone and get sexy definition in your lower abs. I've been getting a lot of messages lately from new moms that are like, okay, I had a baby, everything's great, but how do I get rid of the pooch? I'm also getting a lot of messages lately from ladies that are like, okay, I'm crunching my brains out, Christina, but I got the definition up here, but I still got this poochy, flabby thing happening down here. And then other girls still are telling me like, I can take a picture and I flex and I look amazing and I got everything ripped up. I just feel like my abs are there and I can see them when I crunch and engage them. But the second I exhale and go back to normal, I feel like I got this stubborn roll of fat hiding my gorgeous abs, like help me. Okay, so that's, that's where I'm coming from and that's what's inspiring today's episode. So if you are struggling to get your body back after baby, if you got this pooch situation happening, or you're just not feeling like you can't get it tight and keep it tight, this episode is for you. Okay, so step one, if you feel like you got a six pack that's being covered by this area, this flabby layer, okay, that's a food and, and that's a cardio thing. The exercises I'm gonna share with you today are going to protect your back and engage your core, but they're also just going to start building lean muscles so you can get that definition. If you wanna get the fat off of the definition, that's a food and an exercise thing. When it comes to food, as a nutritionist, I have to say I recommend eating the right amounts of the right nutrients at the right times and the right combinations in a way that's best for you and your body type and your goal look because when you get the right amounts of fuel at the right times, you're going to stimulate your metabolism, you're gonna keep your hormones regulated, so you're not gonna feel hunger, you're not gonna feel cravings, you're not going to feel like, ugh, just not getting the results you want, the fat comes off, and you feel good, because I'm all about happy, healthy, and fit. So on your quest to fit, it's really important that you're focusing on the healthy and eating foods that are getting you the results you want, so you're happy, and that you'll stick with it. That's how the magic happens. Okay, and I have, I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in getting a meal plan for me. Because um, that's really where I shine and that's my favorite. The exercise is just like secondary, really. It's all food. Um, especially when it comes to mood and happy and healthy. So, my next tip is to incorporate cardio. Um, cardio takes the fat off. Cardio is a great way to leverage your eating choices and burn the fat that's already on your body. Again, the exercises and the weight training just gets the definition, so the food and the cardio is gonna take the fat off. So you need all three if you ever wanna get the noticeable definition at rest, get it right and get it tight. Okay, so that's full disclosure. My next tip is that when you're working your abs, that you keep your back off the floor. Every time you do a crunch, you're compressing your spine, and over time, your, your back is kind of like a credit card. Then over time, if you keep compressing it, it's gonna stay bent. So every time you're doing a crunch on the floor, that's what you're doing. You're compressing your spine like this. Your spine is connected to different muscles and all your muscles, let's say you're sitting like this too much or too long, you're gonna contract a muscle over here and lengthen one over here. It can start to affect your posture. It can start to create pain. If you're on the back and you're crunching and you're not really prepping yourself the right way, stretching, kind of overcompensating. If you're always at a desk like this, it can really start to affect your back. And I'm really passionate about back stuff, especially when you're trying to get a core because I was T-boned and my car was T-boned and totaled in a car accident and I have two herniated discs in my lumbar spine. Like, the, and the thought of somebody doing a crunch and act, can actually exacerbate and cause back pain like that, like from experience I can tell you back pain sucks and it's, it's unfortunate and there's really nothing you can do about it and I really wanna protect you. So my rule of thumb is when it comes to working your core, keep your back off the floor. So I'm about to demonstrate a few different ab exercises that target your lower abs. Next week, I'm going to post another video that shows you different variations of planks and a plank workout that you can do kind of similar today where we're targeting the lower pooch area. Um, next week, I'm going to be posting another video, so su subscribe now so you don't miss it. It's the absolute best way to work your core, get definition without killing your spine, okay? 
So I'm going to demonstrate ab exercises right now engage and target your lower abs so you can pick a few of the following exercises if you want and add them into your routine i'm going to do each exercise just demonstrating it i'm not really going to count i'm just going to kind of demonstrate what to do um, but you at home when you're doing this because we're not using any weight like i'm not using dumbbells or ankle weights or anything like that and my rule of thumb for body weight only exercises is do as many as you can until you feel the burn. And once you feel the burn, count to 10. And that completes one set. And you're gonna wanna complete three sets or three rounds of each exercise three times to complete your workout. So if you were doing your biceps one day and you do three bicep exercises, you could pick out two of the following exercises I'm about to show you, throw that into your routine. There you go, you got an arm and ab exercise or workout. Make sense? So it's really simple. Most exercises you find build on a basic, okay? So like a bicep curl, and you got a hammer curl, and you got a concentration curl. They're all just little variations on a basic. And so that's all I'm doing today, which is not unlike anything I'm used to doing. So this is your starting position. And you just want to do different variations, which I'm about to demonstrate for you. Basically, we're moving our feet so that we're hitting this and working against gravity. When you're working your lower abs, you want to make sure that you're sitting on a stable surface. So you can do this at the gym on a bench. You can do this in a chair, not a rolly chair. You can do it on a sofa. You can do it on a coffee table. But you want to make sure that you have a stable surface. Otherwise, like if you're on a rolly chair or stability ball, like you could shoot out from under you and you need a solid, stable surface so that you don't hurt yourself. You want to find a place on your butt where you feel comfortable and where you can lean back. You're not leaning back all the way. You don't want to be up straight, but you just kind of need a counter weight. So when you stick your legs out, you're targeting and engaging your core, if that makes sense. So find a place that's comfortable for you, lean back a little bit and stick your legs out. And when you put your hands here, you can be able to feel it engaged. Okay, so this is your starting position. And then you can vary, do variations with your leg positions, flexing, pointing your toes. It's just easy ways to twist, put a little twist on a basic so that you can engage all your accessory muscles. So that's all I'm going to demonstrate for you right now. So I'm going to jump right into it. So there you have it. Those are my different ab exercises. Keeping your back off the floor, working your lower core will help you get the results you're looking for and really work out that pooch in conjunction with your meal and cardio routine. So I hope you like this episode. If you like it, please like it so I know. And if you don't want to miss next week's episode with next week's workout, subscribe now because I make a new video every Thursday. So I hope to see you next time right here, same place every Thursday. Have a wonderful week, gorgeous, and I'll see you next time. Bye.